In this video, I'll teach you how to set task dependencies in Project for the Web. Did you know that recently Microsoft expanded the dependency planning features in Project for the Web? In this video, I'll teach you how to use all of the features and functionality for dependency planning in Project for the Web, so let's get started. In Project for the Web, Microsoft has recently added some new dependency types. In addition to the default Finish to Start dependency, we now have additional dependencies called Start to Start, Finish to Finish, Start to Finish, and we have the option to add lag time or lead time to any dependency type. Before you begin dependency planning, I do strongly recommend that you add two columns to your grid view. They are Dependents After and Depends On. So how do you use each of these dependency types? Finish to Start is the easiest to set. All you need to do is to select the tasks that you want to link, then right-click anywhere on the selected task list, and choose the item on the shortcut menu called Add Dependency. Project for the Web will automatically create a Finish to Start dependency. All of the other dependency types, however, you're going to need to use either the Dependence After or Depends On field. So I've got two tasks. Install Windows and Install Plumbing, and I need them to start at the same time. Therefore, I need a Start to Start dependency. Here's how to set that. Click anywhere in the Dependence After field. Project for the Web will display a menu of available additional tasks. In my case, I want Install Plumbing. At the end of the task row, when you click the Flyout button, you see a Flyout Dependency Type dialog. Here I can choose Start to Start. I can even see a nice little screenshot of what this will look like, and then click the Add button. And that creates the Dependency Type Start to Start. I have two other tasks, Order Event Supplies and Order Catering. I need these two tasks to finish at the same time. I think you know how to set Finish to Finish already, but let me show you. Again, I'll click anywhere in the Dependence After field. On the menu, I'll choose Order Catering. I'll click the Fly Out button. And here I can choose Finish to Finish. Notice the nice little preview of what this dependency will look like. And I'll click the Add button. And Microsoft creates the Finish to Finish dependency. I have two tasks in a row that are a weird backwards combination. I'm going to take the CLP certification exam on Friday, June 21st. I also need to study for the exam for two days. In this situation, the certification exam is the driving task. That's the task that will determine when I need to begin the studying. So what I need is start to finish. I think you already know how to set that, but let me demo it for you. So again, I'll click anywhere in the dependence after cell. I'll choose Study for the Exam. I'll click the Fly Out button. And here I'll choose Start to Finish. And there, look, it's the weird backwards dependency, but that's exactly what I need. So I'll click the Add button, and Project for the Web will create the weird backwards Start to Finish dependency. On the next pair of tasks, I need to order some network equipment. 
then we'll wait for five days for the network equipment to be delivered. After that, we'll set up the network equipment. So in this case, what I need is five days of lag time to account for the delay. Here's how to do it. Click anywhere in the dependence after field. Then choose the dependent task, in this case, set up network equipment. I'll choose the fly out button. In the dependency type, I'll leave it set to finish to start. But down at the bottom, here's a delay type field. When you click that field, you have the option to set lag time, called lag by, or lead time, called lead by. I'll select lag by and I'll put in a span or duration of five days. When I click the add button, project for the web creates a finish to start dependency with five days of lag time. On my last pair of tasks, I'm going to develop an Android app. I'll work on that for five days. But when I'm two days away from finishing, we're going to start creating the app documentation. In this situation, I need two days of lead time on a finish to start dependency. So here's how to set that as well. I'll select Create App Documentation. I'll pick the Fly Out button. I'll leave it set to finish to start. Delay type, this time I'll choose lead by. The span on this will be two days. When I click add, project for the web creates that dependency. Now let's go see what they look like in the timeline view. In the timeline view, finish to start. Yep, start to start, you bet. Finish to finish. Yep, that's what I expected. Start to finish. There's that weird backwards dependency. Here we go. Finish to start with lag time. Finish to start with lead time. See how they overlap. So that's how to use all of these new dependency types in Project for the Web. Now you know all about dependency planning in Project for the Web. I sure hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have a question or comment, please drop it in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.